hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. as an intro because I really wanted you to kind of, you know, get your imagination flow for the next five minutes because what I will try to explain you is how we have chosen or how we have decided to bridge the gap between the art and technology. Um, Jana, thank you for a fantastic introduction. I, it was actually, and thank you actually for having us here. Um, I was going to start this short presentation but just to explain you how we have landed here where we are right now. Um, what you see here is a triangle, but actually we call it in technology terms a polygon. And polygons are fantastic things for us. Um, the graphic cards can process them incredibly quickly, and uh, they are basically the true source of what we call today real-time render engines. And without them, we would not have anything like VR, AR, or anything that we see today. This was a true technology that has given birth to what we are using today as AR and VR. Um, here is a, just an example to what a talented, um, like a Unity or a real-time engine developer can create. So on the right-hand side, you can see a reference image, a photograph that we have taken. And on the left-hand side, you can see what he was able to create by using pure polygon and shader model. Now, not only we are able to take a photograph of this, but also we are able to put a viewer inside that virtual environment. And that was a birth for our kind of idea of VR. How are we going to be able to explore this fantastic technology of real-time rendering and be able to immerse people in completely new environments? So not only we are able to look at something, but we're able to experience the worlds. So when we looked at the VR, we thought, what is it good for? But really, after you know, thinking a lot about it and experimenting, we figured that the best thing for VR is entertainment. And even when you use it for medical purposes, it's because it's very entertaining. And even when you use it for education, it's because it's very entertaining. And even if you are going to use it for anything else like art, it's because it's actually very entertaining. Now, the problem we had with art and technology is that there is a huge gap between them. And uh, we looked at this kind of marriage of art technology and people have tried it and very rarely this was a successful marriage. You know, usually what you would get uh, is um, kind of uh, a, a really kind of, you know, uh, art that looked more like a technology demo or a really amazing technology that was really bad art. So we had to figure out a formula, a way, how we're going to be able to bring the art to artists without ruining actually the artistic expression. So this is basically how we did it. And the easiest way for me to explain it to you what our approach is, is to look at this light bulb and how light bulb operates. So on one side of the light bulb, what we have is a, let's say, positive charged electricity that's coming into it. And the other side, we have the opposing, the negative electricity. And what you have to put in between is a filament or resistance of something that is going to block the free flow. Because if you connect plus and minus directly, what you get is a shortcut, an explosion. But with the filament in between, what you do is you convert the electrical energy into light, or first into heat, and that, that emits the light. So we have very become very successful by implying resistance actually to converting energies into something being much more useful. So this is exactly what we did at Acute. We took art, and then we took technology, and basically put a, like a, a blockage or a filament in between, and so we became you know, the A square. So our winning formula for that is actually art and VR, and with our you know, acute in between is actually how we're going to produce the VR art. So this is the formula, this is the approach, and I thought what would be very interesting for you to see how we did it in a practical way. So I'm going to play a very short video that is going to show you what we did with a few artists we worked so far. Neural and muscular interface is what made VR so incredibly exciting for me. And the relationship between my brain and my physical activity. The VR gave a really radical answer to a physical relationship with your own body and an interface. The work encourages the user to become active and produce your own world. <laughs> 